Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how you can make a cinematic flyby using the DJI Mavic Air. So stay tuned and let's get to the video. What's a cinematic flyby? Well, as the name suggests, it's a, it's a flyby where you fly your drone in a straight line, but with the caveat that the drone's camera is always pointing towards you. This is pretty easily achievable with the, um, with the Mavic Pro since it has course lock where you can set a course and the drone will always remain true to that course regardless where the, the drone is pointing to. But the Mavic Air doesn't have course lock so uh, you can't use that but there's a little trick you can use to get the same effect which is uh, spotlight mode under active track when you enter spotlight mode uh, the moment you press go uh, it's the same thing as setting a course the drone will get uh, fixed to that course which means that the the controls will always function according to where the drone is pointing to and every yaw you make after that doesn't change the the course of the drone so if you set uh, so if you set spotlight like so and you yaw the drone 90 degrees and you press forward you'll get this movement because this is the way the drone was pointing to and using this you can do a lot of cool cinematic effects as i will be showing you okay guys so for this all you need to do is to go into active track select spotlight draw a box around your subject i'm going to use this old windmill now once you press go the current aircraft heading will remain the same and forward will always move the aircraft towards that, that direction so i'm setting it now let's get uh, some distance from the subject Some more. Okay, seems about right. Now, since you don't want to go towards the subject, you must move this right joystick all the way up. And then, on my case, I'm going to move a bit to the left, so I go around the object towards its um, its left side. So, let's set record joystick all the way up and a bit to the left and there we go you can also then also gain some altitude stop recording and that's it pretty easy cinematic flyby Okay guys, now that I've shown you how to do that, I have two extra tips for you. The first one is that if you go to the camera options and activate the guidelines, more specifically the diagonal ones, you have a better understanding where the center of the image is or the drone's heading is towards to. So that's uh, pretty useful. My second tip is that once you select the, the subject, before you activate the go, and set the heading you can do a small course correction with the yaw joystick or the left joystick you can move it sideways to adjust a small course correction to the heading i find that extremely useful specifically if you want to do a small controlled movements okay guys this was it i hope this video was useful to you if it was please give it a like down below and leave your comments on how it helped you also subscribe to this channel if you want to see videos just like this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!